Hello, guys! Okay. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Kerbal Realism. I'm your host, Dom, and we are getting horrible frame rates for some random reason. Woo! Anyways. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I just wanted to pick you guys up where we left off last time um, uh, when I got frustrated uh, while recording last episode. So, basically, what was happening uh, last episode is I couldn't re enter the shuttle. And I, you know, I showed you that little clip of me failing and then eventually us just crashing and calling that a success. Woo! And then um, the hard drives used to be attached to the satellite right here. Well, they weren't re-entering correctly. So um, I went ahead uh, and updated all my mods just to see if that would help. And it didn't because uh, I came back in here and tried it again. I got frustrated, all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, so today what I felt like doing was... Um, installing uh, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement and Real Shoot. That was a uh, two different mods that I wanted to install today to see if it worked, and it did! So, basically the hard drives, I, I actually did it uh, streaming. I, I just was trying to test it, so I streamed doing it. And, uh, so yeah, that, that's kind of, <laughs> kind of that update there. It's the hard drives re-entered, they landed, we got the science for them, so let's go ahead and spend it. Boop, boop. And it's probably going to be dark here. Yep, it is. So, let's see. Here we are. Hmm. Okay. We are in the science archives. I want to show you guys. I have nine reports. The Tarjur Space Technology Telescope. Nine different reports. Um, just above Minmus, looking at Minmus, not really. None of these are correct when it comes just above the planet. They're all kind of off. It's just above Kerbin, looking at Duna kind of thing. So, uh, these are all the science we got last time. So, 126, 126, etc. Big one right here was the sun. Looking at the sun was very beneficial to us as compared to looking at Eve or Duna or Ike or, I mean... Basically, the sun has give, almost give us 200 uh, just by itself. So I think I got eight, almost 800 science from bringing those hard drives home. So I want to go ahead and get the better landing gear. It's going to be our first thing we do today. Um, and then we have enough science to get two of these nodes. And I want to kind of complete this and then this and uh, instead of the way I've kind of been doing it. Uh, but what I really want to do uh, is get this guy right here. Uh, the nuclear propulsion, so we get the atomic uh, motor. We also get all the reactors, and there's a bunch of new updated ones because I updated uh, Interstellar. So we're going to get that one. Um, we're also going to get, I think it was this node right here, but I'm going to keep checking just in case. Um, boop. Don't want those. Don't need those. Okay, yeah, it was this node right here. So we're going to get this node because it has electric generators, uh, which work off of thermal energy, which these produce thermal energy. So basically your input is some sort of fissionable material, and uh, your output would be thermal energy that you can use through the rocket nozzles, which are right here. Pretty cool. Um or you can use it to generate electricity. Well, at least that's my understanding of it. So that, that's kind of the, what I was going to try to get this time around. I really want to get this, <laughs> this uh, Comtech thing there. That's, this is definitely going to be our next, um, our next thing that we go for is, is this node right here, just because of this antenna and this antenna right there. That's definitely going to be the next thing. Let's see what else we unlocked. The heavy drone core, which is very useful. Now, uh, once I look it up, I'm pretty sure it's extremely useful. Um, let's see, let's see. Don't think we need any aer aerodynamic stuff right now. I do want to get this uh, telescope so we can bring it up in our space shuttle. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I've basically unlocked and stuff like that, etc. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that was added. So, for example, I got the hull cam mod, which is really, really cool. Basically sets up uh, cameras for you everywhere. And I'm pretty sure there's one on the launch pad right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this one. So we'll uh, 
show you what this is. Basically, it adds different camera views. So you could do like a whole EV uh, in-vehicle mission and use only exclusively these cameras by kind of switching to them. Right now, you can tell that this camera is off in the distance. It's actually over here. I kind of flew it over there and uh, shined it towards uh, this direction. I also put um, some motors and stuff on it, so I actually can... Oops. I actually can uh, adjust it, so let's go ahead and just get a cool view here. So for example, if I wanted to watch a rocket take off, I'd switch to this camera, and I can just kind of pan it up as it goes up into oblivion, or I could just leave it, you know, like like at this view right here, and we can see whatever our current uh, vehicle is. So basically, it allows us to um, switch between cameras. You can add attach cameras, not just specifically these ones. Um, you can attach cameras to the side of your rockets and those kinds of things. So it's going to be very, very fun. Cool. So uh, the first thing that I want to do today, um, I'm going to show you the parts. Like I said, uh, there's a couple of new things kind of floating around in this building right now. Um, let's turn that on so I can get rid of that. Okay, cool. Um, there's a lot of new parts, and I am getting a lot of lag for some weird reason right now. Uh, my computer just updated, so I'm pretty sure it has to do something with it continuously updating itself. Control, I don't think we unlocked anything new or got new mods for it. Boop, boop. Um, structural, not exactly sure either, I don't think so. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Aerodynamics, nope, I don't think so. Oh yeah, all these wheels. So these are gonna be our new wheels we're gonna be messing with really, really soon. Um, mostly because I wanna make a working shuttle instead of one that kind of flops over and dies. That's the uh, that's the new plan. Put some of these heavy duty gear landing gears on the thing. Um, oh yeah, here's all our booster cam. So this is, uh, let's go ahead and just zoom in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. So there'd be a camera, for example, there, and you can look up or you can look uh, down, for example, and we can add those to the side of the rocket. I think that's going to be really, really fun for making like cinematics and stuff like that. It's going to be really cool. Um, nav cam, um, lightweight camera, perfect for piloting rovers and probes. Pretty cool. Uh, science cam. I don't know what this does. Different cameras. So yeah, there's there's a few. Oh yeah, this is what I really wanted to get at. The uh, the new shoot, the real shoots mod comes with a bunch of different uh, shoots. So this will come. This, for example, has a drogue and a main shoot in it. I'm pretty sure. Um, this is just the main shoot, as I can remember. Um, drogue slash main shoot. Cool. Yeah. So that's just kind of uh, what what I've been working on uh, is getting the mods to kind of work with each other so that I don't have random stuff problems. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, design a couple things off camera, work on getting them to work more or less, and then I will be back uh, with you guys then. And we're back. So I've done a little bit of building and testing and you guys have seen this rocket before more or less so we're just going to go ahead and explode it off the platform. Not need to have that on. We're going to go ahead and just do a quick gravity turn. Oh boy, not too far. There we go. Okay. So, uh, this is... Uh, I wish it showed like the name of it. This is called the Moon Generator. And that's actually uh, what is in this probe body here. Or in this uh, cowling or whatever those things are called. Now I totally forget, it's escaping me. I have tried this landing before. I have tested it. This is the second time I'm recording it because I failed the first attempt. So, uh, <laughs> this is now attempt two. Uh, next time I will F5 before I attempt a landing because, be basically because where we are landing right now is next to the Keithane next to the Keithane drill on the moon and where it is when we get there like where the actual Keithane drill is is uh 
on the dark side of the moon with respect to the sun right now. So, there's the moon. The drill is kind of in that general direction, and it's on the dark side. Especially when we get there, it's definitely on the dark side. So we're just going to go ahead and get this thing into a low carbon orbit. Um, and then we will get rid of the cowling, which I have to bring down here. Fairings, whatever this thing's called. Yeah, fairings. So when we get into no atmosphere, I will, well, I mean low atmosphere at least, I'll get rid of these cowlings for you. And we'll be able to see what the probe itself looks like. And then I'll do a little bit of uh, editing magic and we will be in an orbit around the moon. Uh, just to make this episode a little bit shorter because I don't really have too much time and I already basically wasted all of my time recording it the first time around. Um, and don't have very much time this time. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, orbit. Okay, anyways, get rid of the cowling here. I mean the fairings. Why do I keep on calling it cowling? Need to extend this thing. I didn't put it on a action group. Activate. There that goes. Cool. And our orbit is now rising, which is a good thing in most people's books. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this thing into orbit here. Um, we're going to extend the radiators. Um, and on this, like it said, like I told you, it's the moon generator. On this specific platform, uh, on this probe, you might want to call it, there is a small nuclear reactor, one of the fission reactors, with uh, also with electric generator attached to that. And its goal is to bring sustainable electric power to the dark side of the moon. Now, it's not always the dark side, um, but it uh, when we are looking at the moon, for example, wherever the Keithane drill is, right now, um, that's tidally locked with us, and it needs to go all the way around us to uh, Kerbin specifically to be able to get the sun. So I think a day on the moon is upwards of, I think a um, let's see, 38 hours or something like that. So if you can imagine, take that in half, it's like 19 hours of darkness, approximately. Those are all approximate numbers, of course. I'm trying to circularize, circularize the orbit now, which I'm getting close to being done with. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, and just about done... Uh, that'll work. Okay. So it's relatively circular. We're going to do a node here, but I'm going to do this that all off camera. So the top stage here, like I said, it's got a nuclear reactor in it. Has landing legs, of course. Um, has these cool little lights, which I put on an action group for the servos here, which is really cool. We can turn those on and off. So basically we now have a uh, nice little set of spotlights on the moon. Also will help me to land, because I can face them downwards, turn them on, and uh, turn them off, and put them back, and maybe we can like shine them into the distance, those kinds of things. Uh, <laughs> it's just a little feature I felt like adding. Um, this RCS on there to help me land, I did need to add that for this specific iteration. Um, and uh, it's going to be landing independently and generating power for us. So I'm going to get us to a low moon orbit, and I will be back. All right, welcome back. We are in a low moon orbit here, and uh, yeah, like I just promised. So we got to uh, get ourselves to the Mun Drill. Do, 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 do. That'll work. That's a decent and enough descent. Maybe just a little bit of that. That looks good. Set ourselves up a node. So, um. I was thinking while in between the uh, recordings here, um, I don't think I really explained very much about why am I bringing electricity up um, and making a sustainable electricity for the Keithane drill, and it isn't specifically for the Keithane drill. Uh, it will help with the drill, you know, a lot, but <laughs> um, it isn't actually what the whole thing was designed for. It was designed to uh, bring up um, plenty of resources, uh, sorry, 
allow for us to uh, make plenty of resources and for us to provide electricity while we're in the dark side of the moon here. And that's actually where we're going to be landing. And I've already tried this once and it did not go very well. So we're going to try it again. Okay. Boop, boop. Get rid of the vessel thing. Don't need this anymore. Don't need that bottom stage, basically. Let's go retrograde with respect to the surface here. Let's get rid of our node. Cool. So it looks like we're going to be flying right over it. And then I will be doing another burn here about. So I'm going to do this kind of fly by ear here. Um, do this, and do one of these. Good. Whew. Yeah, it's, it gets a little bit antsy at the end of this. I get, I get a little bit uh, worried, I think is the word I'm looking for. Uh, get a little bit worried about missing uh, the target for, you know, no good reason, really. Uh, <laughs> and what I'll end up doing is uh, I what I did last time is more I, I actually basically turned the thing on its side and it exploded when it hit the ground and stuff so uh, we got plenty of fuel uh, the only thing that the only thing that's bad per se is that we ooh, 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 turn that up there we go don't go to the node anymore we don't need the node we are going a little bit higher than it so we're gonna do this yeah so the only thing bad is I really really want to get relatively close to the target here and uh, that's that's kind of the goal um, let's burn this off Oop. okay I'm trying to get as close as I can using the map view which really isn't too much of an advantage um, there's our drill so I want to land this thing right next to the drill so we can use it uh, for number one um, ketane production, which is definitely going to be our uh, get definitely going to be a, a big thing for us. Let's go this direction. Moving our stuff around just a little bit here. Okay. Trying to get this thing right on track so we can land right on our target. Don't need any, any more throttle. Kind of actually killed it a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and waste some more fuel. Cool. I'm going to put this to surface now. This is a uh, very not interesting for you guys I I'm telling you right now but uh, I trust me I do understand where you're coming from and I do apologize it's just it's a uh, it's a process that needs to be done so we're gonna be a little bit closer about 5,000 meters above the terrain and we'll start burning some more fuel here cool that thing right on track. Cool. 3,000 meters to go. And it looks like we're just about ready to go. So I'm going to put my lights down. I'm going to added lights on this thing so we can land with them too. It's one of the big things that I wanted to use them for. It's landing. So, let's see, I think we're just about ready to dump this big tank off. Just about ready. When we get to about 2,000 meters, we'll dump it off. And just about now, actually maybe we'll get wait till about 1,500. So just missing my target by quite a lot now. Okay. 
And there we go. Now we'll lose our bottom half there. There goes the tank. Let's open up the landing gear here. Cool. And we're going to turn on our RCS so we have better control because I don't have an uh, SAS module on this. Bloop. We're going to get down to about a thousand meters and make adjustments. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, boy. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Cool. Okay. Wasted a little bit of fuel there. But I want to get closer to the drill here. And I'm nowhere close to the ground, which is a decent thing. <laughs> 500 meters above the ground now, kind of skimming along the surface here. Our horizontal speed is just about a meter per second, two meters per second kind of thing. So we'll kill that off um, relatively quickly. We can kill that off relatively quickly. Ooh, ooh, oh, I think I overshot. I think I might overshot. I think I might overshot. My target is over there. Okay, let's get ourselves kind of landing-esque, or at least ready to land. Kill our horizontal speed here. Let's follow it up. Here it goes. Cool. We are just about vertical. Check our model propellant. Oh, yeah, got plenty. Oops. Now we're currently hovering. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. A little bit of a waste of resources, but can't be that bad. That's what I want to do. So what I really want to do now that I'm kind of hovering is use our model propellant to put us as close as we possibly can to the drill. Oops. One of the reasons why I brought this all. Okay. And just about touched down. Touched. Down. Sweet! Oh, don't, 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 don't. There we are. Look at that. We just about hit it right on the nose. That's awesome. So we're going to put this up. Ha, 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 ha. This is so cool. I like these spotlights. These are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we officially landed next to our Keythane drill. Very, very close, truthfully. Um, we'll be able to share resources with it. Let's turn off our model propellant now. Um, share resources with it. We'll be able to... Um, I'm going to actually make some adjustments. I might move this a little bit further away. We're going to be able to basically give it as much electric charge as we would ever need. Um, this thing runs quite well, truthfully. And uh, yeah, so we'll be able to bring a manned crew here uh, in future episodes. We only have six days until our Duna transfer window is at coming up. Um, that's because uh, that we're actually going to have to do a whole episode dedicated to probing that thing. We're going to send as many things up as we possibly can and uh, do atmospheric things and, oh wow, multiple impactors and stuff like that. That's going to be very, very interesting. But for now, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.